Hi, I'm Barrett Howarth with Mag Bay Yachts and I'm here to walk you through our two brand new 33 center consoles. Up forward is our anchor locker. Open the oversized door and you have full access. We have two different variations that we do. For those that don't want a windlass, we have an option that has a fortress anchor with a pipe that's glassed in so there's no shaking when the boat is moving. For those that want a windlass, we glass in a shelf up forward. We have a full stainless steel windlass utilizing an anchor that goes through the bow of the boat, not over the top. So while I have this anchor locker hatch open, I want to point out some of the little details that really set ourselves apart. We found that by using off-the-shelf hardware, we were having parts that would break. For this reason, a lot of the little things, uh, our gas shock mounts are all hand-built in-house. They're all 316 stainless, they're all oversized. We use Ameritool gas shocks that are made here in the USA, stainless ball ends, and then our tooling. We mold our compression latches into our tooling. There's no backing plate on the bottom. Everything is finished fiberglass. The lip on the hatches is all finished gel coat. It's just overbuilt and it's the way we like to do things as standard on Mag Bay. When we designed the boat, we wanted to have an oversized bow. Being from the west coast, when we fish, we cast from the bow a lot. So it was really important to have a lot of room up here to move around. If you're up here, you're casting a bait on a fish, you're nice and planted. You're not having to worry about your next step. You can move around. That was a big thing for us. We have an integrated water drain. There's a little bit of crown in the deck going forward. So any water that gets up here drains forward and also shows our cleats. We use eight inch pop-up cleats from Gemlux. They're all stainless steel. It's only the finest hardware. Moving aft, this is our bow seating module. Bow seating comes with two stainless steel backrests that are easily removable and can easily be stowed up forward. These two hatches lift up for easy access and easy storage. A lot of people throw their aft seating, their life jackets, uh, random bags. It's a great spot to throw that stuff where it's out of the way and up forward. Up forward, we have three lockers. We have our two side storage lockers that drain via a central sump box, and we have our large forward fish box. All three of these lockers are lit. They're all fully insulated. We also have two washdowns up forward. We have our fresh water to port, salt water to starboard. They're all high pressure washdowns, so you can come up here and hose off everything you need to. We offer two different consoles that are a standard during the build. You can choose between either one. We have a shorter console which features an insulated drink box and gives you a little bit more room up in the foredeck. And we have a larger sun pad console which also has an insulated box that's mostly used for storage and is a little bit more appealing for the cruising crowd or the ones who like to lay out. This particular boat has rod holders going forward. We can add rod holders anywhere in the boat at any varying degree. We offer the standard 0, 15, or 30 and we can lay those out based off how you like to fish. For those guys that want swivel rod holders, it can easily be added and we can add electric reel outlets forward and aft in the boat. On this boat, we have the GEM outrigger system. This is a new system as of last year. It features an oversized stainless steel base and carbon outrigger poles. They're telescoping poles 22 feet without question the finest quality on the market. What's nice about these is you control everything from underneath the T-top. You spin the handle one way, it moves the outrigger up or down. You flip the handle over and you can rotate your outrigger and lock it in place. It's a fantastic system. Another fishing feature that we've integrated in this boat comes out the side of the T-top and that's our teaser reels. Any guy who's ever gone fishing, blue marlin fishing, striped marlin fishing, they've run teasers. We integrate Real Colors teasers on the bottom of the T-top in a spot where it's easy access for the captain. When he's driving the boat, he has full access and we run the line external. So if you ever have to grab the line and rip a teaser tight to the boat to bring that fish in, it's really easy to do. We've definitely tried to lay this boat out for the recreational fisherman or the hardcore fisherman, either one. Let's go over this dash layout a little bit. We offer three different helm pod configurations. As a standard, we have a finished fiberglass helm pod we have options for a handmade teak helm pod or a carbon fiber helm pod for those that want to be a little bit sportier. This configuration here features zip wake trim tabs mounted to starboard, your throttle mounted to starboard, your key switches mounted underneath the pod away from you. 
your main switches directly in front of the pod within easy access, cup holders to port, your glove box to port, and of course your screen dead center. One feature that we've included standard is the Felmarine wireless kill switch. In every boat we include the Felmarine fob and the Felmarine device and we also include watches. This system was designed a couple years back as an alternative to using your standard kill lanyard. You activate the fob if your driver falls overboard the motor shut off and now they have the capability up to four people if a passenger falls over it flashes an alarm so you know that something has happened you can turn the boat around and pick them up. On our dash layout we start out with your switch panel. Down here you have access to everything that you use throughout the day whether it be lights, pumps, you have your horn of course. This has two USB ports, they're fast charge as standard as well as a voltometer that tells you exactly where your house batteries are at. This is our glass dash display. We can do this with either one screen or two any electronics manufacturer you'd like. This right here is a 24 inch Simrad display that fits perfectly. We can fit up to two 17 inch Garmin's, two 16 inch Furunos, really any arrangement that you like we can make fit in here. Up top is our electronics box. From the factory we configure this with a three panel arrangement. When we use Mercury motors we put the Vessel View 703 in the center. We have plenty of space to add VHF radios, underwater light controllers, it's really an area that's customizable. We can put and arrange things wherever you like them. You have plenty of room and you have a little bit of a lip in here if you want to throw your phones or keys or whatever the case is. We've built this back a little bit so you have that extra storage. Our standard T-top is regular brushed aluminum, but we offer two different finishes. One is our powder coated aluminum package, which you can choose any color. The second is an all 316 stainless steel finish. This is a real unique top. We're one of the only companies in the entire industry that will actually do a stainless steel T-top. One thing to note on the stainless steel is every single weld on this entire top is polished. It is truly a work of art you have to see to believe, but if you really want to stand out from the crowd and be different, and honestly have a top that's stronger with less maintenance, this is definitely the top for you. Here I am in the cockpit. So, aft console, the way we have this laid out, you have a little bait prep center here with a removable cutting board. Just below the cutting board you have a drawer which is great layout for your fillet knives, for your chamois, towels, mops, whatever you whatever have you. You have a little sink. Inside the sink is a 16 foot hose reel. So if you don't want to carry a wash down hose, this all retracts back in. It's long enough you can go wash your motors We've done mounts on top of the T-top so you can set it up as a shower. It's just a real clean functional system. Just below the bait prep center is a sliding frigid rigid cooler. This locks and pins into place so this serves as an aft seat if you need an additional, uh, additional set of seats in the boat. Back in the cockpit outboard we have two insulated fish boxes each with their own macerator. You have a forward storage box which can also be converted to a second live well if you need additional bait. Aft central is your access to your aft lazarette. Our aft lazarette is where a majority of our pumps and systems are mounted. Back here you have our fiberglass sea chest that has our bait pumps and our wash down pump coming off of it. You have our fuel manifolds. We use a fuel manifold for each motor so you can feed off of all three of our fuel tanks. Our fuel filters are mounted forward for easy access when it comes time to do maintenance. The finish inside is a finished gel coat with a diamond pattern non-skid on the floor, which we feel is one of the nicest in the industry. This is also one area where you can see the extreme attention to detail that we take in our boats. Every fitting is 316 stainless. Every hose clamp has a clamp aid on it. It's laid out in the cleanest way possible. We guarantee you won't find a cleaner lazarette in any production boat. Aft in the boat is our 70 gallon integrated live well. Clear acrylic lid on friction hinges so there's no gas shock in salt water. Our gutters are oversized. We have the tank set up so water can rise all the way to the lid so there's no slosh inside the tank. We've designed this tank so both your fill and your drain are behind a grate that we've integrated into the starboard side of the tank. There's nothing protruding inside the tank for bait to hit their heads on. 
whether you're using small fragile baits like anchovies or larger baits like horse eye mackerel or caballitos in Mexico, this tank works phenomenally well. Inside the cockpit, we have oversized gutters outboard. There's no gutters in the deck to shove your toe in or break your toe. We've had that happen before. All the hatches have an internal guttering system that always drains outboard into our custom stainless grates. These grates go directly through the transom out into the water. The entire deck is self bailing You can wash down. We've had an instance where we took a wave over the bow. Everything drained out very, very quickly. Never have to worry about any water pooling in the boat. For customers that have the rear live well option, if you're going fishing, you don't want to carry bean bags, or you're going to the sandbar, we make a removable aft bench seat that slides right in place. It's real nice and comfortable and easy to deploy. By far, one of the most distinguishing parts of our boat is this transom. It's very, very unique. If you look hard, you'll see there is no hull to deck joint back here. That's because we come back in and we bond our hull and our deck together and finish this off to a mirror finish. What's nice about this, everything is sealed. It's an extremely strong constructed boat. When we build this boat to get this shape, we have to do it a little bit differently. When we lay up the hull, we also lay up a molded stringer grid at the same time. That stringer grid is put in the hull corresponding on the last day of layup. So we actually pull the hull from the stringer grid. By doing this, everything is straight. There's no chance for any deflection, any movement. We go back in, we do secondary bonding on every major surface in the boat. It's an extremely stout boat. Once we set the liner in, before the deck goes on, we actually bond the sides of the liners to the hull. It's an added step that seals everything off, makes it extremely clean. We have access back here to, to bond that liner into the stringer grid and into the hull. And then finally, we put the deck on the boat, we fiberglass both inside and outside in this transom area, then finish it off to this mirror gel coat. On each side of the boat, outboard of the bait tank, we have a storage locker. This is one spot where you can see how we put the boat together. Everything on the inside is finished gel coat. We go back in after the fact, clean everything up and finish it off. Also, one thing to note is aft inside here, you can see a box that has a whole bunch of through hulls. Instead of having a whole bunch of through holes going out the side of the hull, we've designed our own box where everything drains into this box and drains outboard through one hole in the side of the hull. Motor-wise, we offer both Mercury and Yamaha outboard power. Power ranges right now from three to 400 horsepower. Uh, we can do 300s and 350s with Yamaha, 300s, 350s, and the 400s with Mercury. Performance is based off the outboard, of course, with 300s, we're seeing performance in the top end around 53 miles an hour with crews in the high 20s to low 30s. With these 400s, we're seeing a cruise in the high 30s to low 40s with a top speed of around 65. We use C-Star Optimus steering with both motor packages, and you do have the capability to get a joystick system with it. The motors will actuate on their own, so docking is a little bit easier. And you can get C-Station, uh, with both motors. C station is a position hold and a heading hold feature. So if you're out fishing, you want to stay exactly on a spot, you can activate C station, the motors will do the work for you. One thing to notice, we have a custom plate that we make where all the hoses come out of and integrated into that plate is a freshwater flush. We plumb in a freshwater hose in each motor. So instead of going in between each motor to flush the motors at the end of the day, you plug in your garden hose on this plate and it does both for you. As an added safety feature, we put a valve in each motor. So if you ever are to lose a motor while underway, you can open the cowling, shut off the valve, and you're not pumping hot water into a dead motor. It's a really, really clean, very easy system that works great. And it's one of the cleanest transoms you'll find in this entire industry. One thing we really like to do at Mag Bay is build our own custom hardware. A lot of little things that you see you wouldn't really realize we build in-house. Our hawse pipes are all made in-house. Our deck drain grates are made in-house. Even our rub rail in the back, we hand form this. We heat it up till it's red hot. We have a jig that we made. We beat it into place and we hand form and hand polish these ends to give it that one-off custom finish. Also back here, you can see we have two different arrangements for rod holders. If you're a fishing oriented person, 
you want the standard rod holder. As standard, we use gem blue water rod holders. They're a screwless design, very, very strong, look great, and great quality. We also have an option for Mate Series rod holder cup holders. What's nice about these, when you want to go cruising, you can put your water, soda, beer, whatever have you, in the cup holder. When you want to go fish, shove a rod in there, and you're out going. One area we can really see our attention to detail is in our side door. We've integrated this as a standard feature on all of our boats. It's a starboard side door. You open it up, it's solid fiberglass. You can see these hinges that we make in-house have screws. Every single screw faces the same direction. It's one thing that we started when we had Cabo. It's one thing we're continuing with Mag Bay. It's just a nice oversized touch that we like to integrate. The side door opens inward. So if you're at the dock, you're tied up next to your big boat, you can still open the door with ease. You can see on the bottom, we have a plate that has our Mag Bay logo integrated, as well as two holes. These holes are for your dive ladder that fits in place so you can go overboard and get back in the boat with ease. Over the course of building these boats, we had a lot of requests by our tender customers for a boat that had more seating. As such, we've come up with this. This is what we call our aft bench seating option. This has a nice L settee aft that takes place of the aft bait tank. Features an oversized backrest, which is really, really comfortable to sit in when you're running. Uh, you can easily fit three people, um, four if you have kids. It's a safe spot. You can sit in here, you're nice and locked in. It's super, super comfortable. For those people that want to have this aft bench seating but still go fishing, we can make this in-deck box into a live well. So when you do go out fishing, at least you have 30 gallons of bait with you. Um, it's a great overall setup. This is the second boat we've done with it. People seem to be very, very happy with it. Inside the console to port, you have your sink Corian finish, stainless steel nozzle. Below, up forward, you have an access hatch to your batteries. There's four Lifeline Group 31 batteries. Four of the batteries have your holding tank and your water tank. You have a day access here to see what's going on. Below that, you have an access for your macerator to drain your holding tank. When it comes time to change your batteries, we knew this hatch was gonna be a little small, so we've made this entire bottom bulkhead removable. Pop out the screws, this pulls out, then you have full access to everywhere behind here to make changing batteries a breeze. Inside the boat, we have our second electrical panel. Starting from right to left, these five switches here are your remote battery switches for the batteries. You have a house, starboard motor, port motor. These are your two automatic charging relays. You can have them off on auto or turn them on to equalize all four of your batteries. You have eight switches here that control things inside this console area, most notably your macerator under console light. And we give you two auxiliaries, so if you have things that you want to add in the future, you already have a switch. You have your master volt charge panel control that displays how your batteries are doing your Dometic tank level indicator, which shows where your holding tank and freshwater tanks levels are. And then to the outboard side, you have three breakers, electronics, amplifier, and windlass. Electronics breaker goes to a fuse panel inside the electrical panel where you can plug in just everything you want that is always turned on with the electronics. By far, one of the biggest wow features of our boat is our electrical system. Everything is neatly laid out, we use tin copper wire, heat shrink connectors, thermal labels. On the outboard side, you have your battery charger, and we leave you space down below to add in your modules for electronics. Directly below our main electrical panel is our secondary panel that has our remote battery switches. The body of the Blue Seas remote battery switch is down in here. The remotes are up top, and this is our amplifier. We have an option for a large stereo upgrade. With that, you get eight inch speakers, a subwoofer, and an amplifier. For boats that don't get the large stereo upgrade, this space remains open and is a great spot to put documentation papers, your first aid kit, or flare kit. It's a real easy access spot. At Mag Bay, we love oversized hardware. These gem outrigger bases are no exception. These are the beefiest bases on the market. Everything's 316 stainless. They made up perfect to these carbon fiber outrigger poles. They look fantastic and they function great. A lot of little things that most people wouldn't notice, we integrate our antenna bases into our backing plates. 
We buy the antenna mounts, we cut them, we weld them on, mirror polish all the welds. It's just a very clean way of doing things. Even down to our little washers, we make these washers in-house. Sure, you can go and buy a finished washer off the shelf, but these are all 316 polished stainless. They look great, they function great, and it just really ties in our whole theory on this boat. We want to build the best, and we want to use nothing but the best products. If we can't find them, we make it. It's our whole theory. We'd rather build a boat that we can be proud of and sleep well at night than have a boat that's just pieced together.